Good evening everyone. It's Chandra Kla here and today we will start exercise 3.3. In exercise 3.3 simple divisions are there. Three questions are given. So first of all we will start question number one. In question number one division with 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 are given. So here we will know two actual division process. That means here directly we can write down answer. For example A. 6720 divided by 10. This is our first part, first question. Now see, uh, as we have seen in divisibility laws, a number will be divisible by 10 if it has one zeros because in 10 also we have one zero. So if here we are having one zero, it will be divisible. So one zero will cancel out one zero and the remaining number 672 divided by one that will be equal to 672 so the remaining will be answer for example second one 5000 divided by 100 now you see in 100 we have two zeros and here also we have minimum we need two zeros okay here we have three zeros so one zero will cancel out one zero and another zero will cancel out another zero now again 50 divided by one is equal to 50 like this we can do direct answers in first question only okay then we will start question number two in question number two some divisions are given and we have to check the answer first we will divide uh, the number and then we will check the answer for that we have already learned one formula one more thing is here the divisor is given up to a very large number that means up to three digits also and we have learned tables only up to 15 so those tables which are above 15 that we can multiply and solve for example one question we will see uh, that is let m question number two m that is 7000 divided by 50 see reminder need not to be always zero if the reminder is zero that means the number is completely divisible but we can also get some other reminders for example one two three whatever okay so first of all we will divide it this is our dividend 50 is our divisor okay so first we will take 7 since 7 is less than 50 so we will take 70 two digits 50 ones are 50 now 50 twos are you can multiply and see this is 0 and this is 10 100 100 is greater than 70 so we will not go for 100 we will write it once that is 50 ones are 50 then subtraction obviously 0 minus 0 0 and 7 minus 5 is 2 now we have remainder as 2 we will take one more 0 here that means the next digit 200 so we ha will have to say the table of 50 up to 200 so you can multiply 50 by 3 4 and you can check where you are getting this one or less than this so here it is 0 and it is 20 that means 4 times we are getting 200 now again subtraction 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 2 minus 2 0 next digit we will take here is 0 and here we don't have anything else so we will put one zero. this is the last zero remaining there okay now we have to check the answer to check the answer we can write here verification and for that we will use our formula that is divisor into quotient plus reminder is equal to dividend okay now you see what is divisor 50 so we instead of divisor we will write 50 multiply this is 5. Quotient. Quotient means your answer. So that is 140. And then plus reminder. Here reminder is 0. You can get some other reminder also. And equal to dividend. What is dividend? This one. 7000. So here you are getting 7000. Now we have to solve this left hand side digits. And that must be equal to 7000. That means obviously the right hand side digit. So what you have to do? You have to multiply 50 by 140. This we have learned. For once you forget this zeros. These two zeros we will forget. We want only 5 into 14. So that we can calculate 20 to 7. 70 here we are getting. Okay. So we will write 70. Then how many zeros we quit at that time? Two zeros. One this zero and one this zero. So we will put here two zeros. 
then this is 0 and this is obviously equal to 7000 now 7000 plus 0 is equal to 7000 and is equal to 7000 that means left hand side is equal to right hand side this whole calculation is equal to your dividend that means whatever you have done is correct that is the right process same thing we are going to do in question number 3 also same process first we will divide then we will check our answer okay as I already said that reminder always need not to be zero but no problem whatever reminder you are getting you write here and then add it to the number you will get your final answer all these questions you will solve in the same way rest of the things we will see in next class thank you